morning guys uh this is you let me just this thing right uh before we even get started because uh let's see up a little bit there we go uh, <laughs> uh good morning and uh before i do anything i want to thank god that i'm still here because i know everybody knows about the hurricane that hit florida it did not hit our area, so we are good in this area. We have no damages and so forth. I'm actually in South Florida, and um, I'm, I am praying for the people that, you know, had to go through stress and um, damages and things like that. So I want to go ahead and say that. Now today, with our herbal knowledge, we're going to be talking about sleep and how sleep is so important to our health. And we know that we none of us get the right or proper amount of sleep. Um, and it's been going on for years. Our health has um, gotten worse because of it as well. And um, so hopefully uh, this video here will help someone, um, you know, hear about it and know about it and know how important it is uh, to get that sleep. Medically-wise, health-wise, um, okay. Uh, re research has shown that uh, an extra hour of sleep a day will help um, benefit uh, one, excuse me, and I'm reading my notes here, uh, shown that an extra hour of sleep each night can lead to better eating habits. Eating habits leads to better overall health. Um, and that is a true fact. Um, and you know they're always saying that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, which is another true fact. Okay, um, research studies have also shown that uh, our sleep habits strongly influences our eating habits and to whether we gain and lose body fat as well. So that has to do with our weight and things like that. A lot of people are trying to lose weight and you know that once you do gain a certain amount of weight it becomes a health issue and things like that but getting um better sleep eating better than you know those weight those uh, pounds that fatty stuff will you know um disappear and you'll be able to lose weight healthy healthier okay um, sleep itself is a medicine. Having a good night's sleep in itself, again, I'll say it, is, is, is uh, medicine and so forth. Because uh, when you get a good night's sleep, you're waking up with more energy to tackle more things. You feel better. Uh, you look better. You don't look as tired uh, and things like that. So eating and sleeping is the key to our health to our better health i'll put it that way yeah sleeping and eating better is the key to our better health now let's start talking about um sleeping health aids that you can get to the store to help you sleep uh sleep medicine that you get from the pharmacy or the doctor to help you sleep Okay, now, chemical for sleep may help you to get a good night's sleep or just get a night's sleep. I won't say good night's sleep. I take that back. It just helps you get some sleep. But when you use chemically enforced uh, medicine, sleeping medicine, to get a, a night's sleep, you're not going to feel, excuse me, I have something in my mouth. You're not going to feel as refreshed as you would if you got a, a good night's sleep, naturally. And um, that is, you know, a true, also a true fact. Um, when you purchase uh, non-traditional, and I'm saying not, you know, from the doctor, but when you go out and buy sleeping aids from the store and things like that, um, a lot of times, a lot of harsh chemicals are also put into those sleep aids, which again is a forced sleep. Uh, and when you do forced sleep by chemicals, it's not the same. 
So, um, we do have a new product coming out. It's called Sleep Me. Uh, it has all natural ingredients. And with the sleep product and so far, you're going to get uh, not just a good and natural sleep, you also going to get some other health benefits from these herbs. Because as I always say, you know that when you uh, use an herbal medicine, um, it just doesn't target or pinpoint one thing. It helps you in a lot of ways. You get a whole lot of um, uh, herbal medical benefits from that. And so far just like okay for an example when you get a headache you take something from the store or you take uh, or you go to your doctor your doctor gives you something for headaches and things like that okay what we're doing is we're targeting the headache we're targeting the headache we're targeting because we don't want that pain we want to just get rid of it and so far so we want to take a painkiller to get rid of the pain. But when you are using herbal medicine um, for a headache, uh, you're not targeting the pain or targeting the headache. You're actually uh, targeting what's causing the headaches, which is a difference. Because if you can get rid of what's causing the headaches and so far, then you don't have to have the headaches keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back. And then, uh, you know, you're taking these harsh medicines to get rid of it and so forth. And we've all done it and we still all do it and so forth. But that's the difference between herbal medicine and store medicine or even traditional medicine that the, the doctor may recommend to you and so forth. Because when you go to them, they're targeting what you come in there for headache stomach ache whatever and so far um you know trying to get rid of that whatever it is pain in your stomach pain in your head they're trying to get rid of that for you that's what they're there for and so far but with herbal medicine um when you're taking that you know it's going to cure or get rid of you know the reason of the to get rid of the reason that's causing you the pain in your stomach or the cause of the pain in the head and things like that. So um, that's the difference and so far. And with sleep, it's going to be the same way and so far. So you're going to get um, herbal medicine, natural ingredients to help you to sleep. And you're also going to get the health benefit of these uh, herbal medicines. Um, to help aid the reason why you're not sleeping. And it could be stress. Uh, these herbal medicine, uh, medicine deals with stress, uh, deal with other uh, anxieties and things like that to help you to prevent you from sleeping and so forth, to relax you so that you can actually sleep naturally and so forth and still, you know, having a full sleep. So, we just want to bring this out to you. Um, I haven't set a date yet. It's when this herbal sleep meat is coming out. But it will be soon. Uh, because we do have, we have had a lot of people. I'm trying to think of the exact number. I think we had three people come in um, this past week. Before the hurricane struck and all that. Um, that's come in with insomnia and uh, tension, headaches and things like that. And um, it just put us to work uh, to come out with a new herbal medicine that's going to help target all these things and, you know, to give you all these health benefits um, and so far. And uh, so we definitely believe and uh, trust in these herbal medicine that it's going to do. One of the things that we recommend to people who's having issues uh, with sleep is valerian root. Uh, valerian root is well known for insomnia and things like that. But also valerian root gives you a lot of other health benefits other than, you know, uh, helping you to relax from stress, anxieties, and things like that. So that's what I'm saying. 
uh, herbal medicine just don't give you an aid in one part of your illness or symptom. It helps, you know, with a whole lot of other uh, symptoms that you may have and so forth as well. So, and valerian root is one of the ingredients that's going to be in sleep meat, uh, along with a couple other uh, ingredients and so forth. So, we're looking forward to getting it out to you um, and things like that. And if you have any questions and everything about uh, sleep, they do have a lot of research on this, um, health benefit of sleep and what sleep will do for you and things like that. And they also have a lot of information as to why you're not getting the sleep that you need. Uh, it also just has like such in, a lot of information with your diet to help you sleep and things like that. So do some research on um, sleeping, why you're not sleeping, why it's so important for you to get a good night's sleep, and how getting a good night's sleep can help you. And remember, uh, I said sleep within itself is a good medicine. So just getting a good night's sleep is going to do you a lot of good. So um, this is Eunice with your herbal knowledge, and I will be back next week with more information on another um, herbal medicine benefit. All right, thank you. Bye. <laughs>